Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome back to the final round here of the Masters 2019 at Magnolia National Tour on the Golf Club 2019. As you can see, I've still got a very um, prominent lead. I can't see the AI claw on that back, but very, um, not distressed, but a bit concerned about my swing the previous round. I did see it in round two as well. I've got a very inconsistent swing at the moment. So hoping to um, try and work on that a bit today. So it could be a bit of a hit and a miss today. As you can see, we've got the, the wind. There we go, Lee. It's a fantastic swing to start off the round. Long may that continue. That actually looks like we could kick hard left out the fairway here. Wow. So I uh, misread that completely. But I have turned off the, the wind speed and the lie grid, which is very, very difficult around here, I guess, at the mount of slopes. So hopefully I can learn from round three, which was moving date. I certainly didn't move forward. I did finish with a plus one. So gap wedge. Have put a fast in it and I've pushed it hard right. It's ten that we go more to the left. It's going to be long left. But wow, guys, what a fantastic third round we had in the real thing at the Masters 2019. I mean, from Masters scoring... To start leaders and what to watch out for ahead of the final round. We're going to talk about all that today. So I do have a monster putt here. This should turn. Just going to miss it in the low side. And hopefully that should set up a 4 to 5 foot putt for the par. That hopefully we can convert. But many putts just from this range are getting missed out there in the course. So we do start off with a solid par. But I just want to thank everyone for the continued support of the channel and the views and things that we are getting. It is absolutely fantastic. As a, a bonus, if we do reach 5,000 views on this video here, I am going to improve my record and stuff so everything will be in 10. Uh, look at that swing, guys. What is going on? We're probably just going to avoid the bunker here, but that is just horrible. So everything will be recorded in 1080p, 60 frames per second. For you guys viewing pleasure and try to bring the channel just a little bit forward so if we do reach 5,000 views and plenty of likes so if you are enjoying the channel if not yet subscribed please do so and make sure you hit the like button so i'm just throwing to try and come between the two bunkers here and allow the wind to turn this to the right and hopefully the green does break to the right but that has went a lot more right than i suspected it would and once again, we find a bit of trouble. We are going to be in the bunker. But why? What about um, Francesco Molinari, guys? He has now gone 43 consecutive holes without a bogey at Augusta National following his third round. Six under 66. I mean, that is amazing. Little chip shot here. Oh, that is a mistake. I really felt I had enough distance to get out the bunker there and just land that ball on the fringe. I've been caught out with a lie there. Can we chip this in for the birdie then? Big chip shot this. No, it's going to go right. And that is long. That has really came out of there a lot better than I anticipated. So we could well be dropping a shot here. Sometimes I find it just exciting for you guys when I'm playing really, really well as to when I'm really struggling and you guys are seeing a different side to my game. That's going to turn, is it? Oh, wow, we've just missed it on the edge. So I am going to get a bogey here at par 5 second. And that is going to put us one over par for the round. Really not feeling anything at the moment with my swing or my game. Lots of basic errors that I'm making. And we do drop down. A few of the AI players are at level par. Once again, like I said, I'm really disappointed with the, the, ch the lack of challenge on very hard difficulty that the AI set. Nah, that's going to go hard right. We might be fortunate with a kick. Yeah, that's going to kick hard left. But look at that swing line, guys. I mean, I am really struggling. Like I said, I am going to try different things today. I am going to have to look for a new swing because I, I don't know what it is. It just doesn't seem consistent for me. Coming into this, I was really ex excited and uh, about my swing, about my, my gameplay and where it was. And after that 10 under first round, 
has that got legs just to kick up? No, it's going to come up short again. So my decision making and yardage calculating is very, very poor. Certainly not helping me out when I'm struggling to swing well. And like I said, I set my challenge of, of doing what Tiger did in 1997, which is still the record. And that is being 12 shots clear, a winning margin of 12 shots. We should still easily be able to conquer that. We do pick up a par there. But that is only due to the fact that the AI is struggling. And we drop back down to, to 14 under. We were 15 under coming in for the, the final round here. So once again, pin position is over on the left-hand side, so bunker shouldn't be a problem here. Just lofting this five hybrid up, trying to kick this on from the front of the green and run it up the slope. That's going to go hard left, but I have pushed it right as well, so it should maybe work out well. How is that going so long? The wind must be stronger. I mean, I had that down. It's about a 10 mile per hour wind, but just the elevation. I've obviously been given a flyer and we're lofting that up. It's just stayed up in the wind. It's probably the wrong choice. So this is now a horrible shot. Don't have to flop it. Let's see if we can just walk away with par here, but not the best of starts on the final round of the Masters 2019. Just looking for about an 85% flop here. Put a 90. Is that going to check? Is that going to check? That is a very good shot from there, guys. And I'm very, very happy with that. It's a tricky par putt, but we do convert that well. Going back to the stats from yesterday and talking about Francesco Malinari. That is the first time anyone has had more than 41 consecutive holes without a drop shot in over 25 years, which is obscene. Some of the golf I watched yesterday, guys, was just was just different gravy. It was top drawer. Wind's really going to move us to the right. That's a better swing light. The wind has really took me more around than I expected, though. And we are going to be in the mulch, unfortunately. Until yesterday as well, there had never been multiple rounds of 64 or better in a Masters tournament. You had Patrick Cantley, Tony Finau and Webb Simpson, who all managed to reach the 8 under par total for a single round. So that was, it was just fabulous. I mean, all three of them managing to achieve that. Well out there. This came out better than what I anticipated. That's going to leave me a little pitch shot to see if we can get the up and down. This hole was playing the hardest hole on the course yesterday as well, if I do recall. The, this is the newly extended fifth hole. And for the second day in a row, it just had one birdie, which was Keegan Bradley. 36 pars, 27 bogeys, and one double bogey. I've played that short. So really not on top of my game at the moment, guys. But like I say, Sometimes that's just as exciting to watch someone struggle as it is to watch them play superb golf. That should turn. That is a fantastic putt there for the par save, and I am delighted with that to walk away with par. And we are going to remain at 14 under, one over for the round. If I could just finish level par or one under today in these tough wind conditions and the way I'm swinging, I'll be happy. So 185 yards, down 21 feet. Into that wind. I think I've got, to, I've got to stay with the six iron. Just going to loft this up a touch. Let the wind bring it round. And I've applied a touch of fade here just to counteract the wind. It's a nice swing. That is a nice swing. This should kick on to the green. We may be fortunate here. This should kick left. Get up. Ah, just overcompensated for the wind with the, the fade there. But that is the swing I'm looking for to try and recreate more consistently guys it's just achieving that is it going to turn is it going to turn oh 
Oh wow, it's another one that just burns the edge. We had so many of them yesterday. So near yet so far away. But we do pick up the part. And we played that hole slightly better. No one making any real moves, any challenges. It's pointless looking at the leaderboard to be honest guys. So disappointed with this. I mean in a game where you're playing very hard settings and you're, you're a fairly accomplished player, the game should be pushing you. No, that's going to go right as well. I'm going to be fortunate for this just to, to hold on to the fairway. This should kick left slightly. There we go. Very fortunate to get away with that. But Webb Simpson, who shot the joint low round of the, the day yesterday, hit all 14 fairways and also co-led the field in greens and regulation 16 out of 18. With Tiger Woods, my main man, Emilino Grillo and Justin Thomas. Seven iron against the wind. I put fast on that, but that's actually going to help me out. I don't think we've got enough club to get there. Just coming up short. And I'm estimating that these 12 mile per hour winds are really causing havoc. It could actually be about 14, 15 mile per hour winds actually. Really causing havoc out here for me in the course. So this is now a tough shot, guys. Just try to flop this. do well to get this within six feet this is a delicate touch check up come back come back come back decent attempt it's left me a seven foot putt for the part I've not been feeling my putt in these last two rounds neither that looks good though and we do drop that for a par so the last two three holes been fairly decent guys in tough conditions and we are going to remain at one over. Let's see if we can get back to level par here on this par 5 eighth. Wind should take us to the left. Just aiming right for the bunker. I've put a fast on that, so we're going to be fortunate to... We should get a kick right here. This should kick right. The course being very kind to us there. Patrick Cantley, who carded the first 64 of the day, led the field in putts per hole average. He was 1.39 putts per hole, alongside Australian Cameron Smith, who posted a 3 under 69. We're way long here. For, hopefully this cools off the green. I would love it if this went off the green and didn't hold the green. No, that is going to hold the green, and this is going to be such a hard putt with no green grid at my feet. I have disabled the, the lie grid, guys. Normally, if you change clubs, you would be able to see where the lie is, but we'll, we'll, we'll take on the putt. Like I say, I have lost a bit of confidence in my shot making at the moment, so probably flopping this is not the ideal shot, but this is a tough putt. Looks like it's going to turn hard right. 76 feet down, 2 feet. If I can get this within 9 feet, I'm a happy man, just to set up birdie. It's a good weight. This is a good way if it starts to chip. Oh, wow, Lee. Look at that, guys. Really didn't expect that. I have well overcooked that. And that has went off the green at the other side. And it's now left me probably best taken on this putt. 11 yards from the hole. One feet up. Big birdie ask this. Looks like we're just going to be walking away with par on the second easiest hole of the course. I've underhit it. The line was good. I have underhit that. The line looked like it was bang on. That would have turned back, as you can see. And once again, we are struggling out here in the course. I'm fighting my demons at the moment, guys. No consistency whatsoever. But the easiest hole yesterday for the second time this week was the par 5 15th. There were four eagles, 32 birdies, 23 pars, 3 bogeys and 3 double bogeys or worse. Hole 9. We're still one over. That's going to go right as well. Look how far right that goes with just that poor um, downswing, guys. I'm sure that's what it is. My downswing, I'm pulling it right. And I have failed to, to find the fairway. 
you get more, you get so penalised in the master clubs with that specific shot. I don't know why. If I followed through, if my backswing was pushing it right like that out of the cone, I don't think I would get punished as much as that. But we should still be able to reach green here. I would say we've got about a 13 mile per hour wind in our face. I've done it again. That's going to go hard right. It's going to come up short as well. Might just not, mate, no. I was going to say it might just hang on the fringe. It's just failed to hit the fringe. And we're going to have our work cut for an up and down here. This is a tough chip shot. Just try to use the top of this slope to, 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 to hold the ball up and let it release out. Just like the, Oh, why I thought we'd hold it in. What a shot that was. What a shot that was. And hopefully we can pick up the par here and remain at one over par. But heading into the final round, which is the day, guys, and I will be glued to the, the TV watching it, 23 of the last 30 Master Champions were in the final grouping on Sunday. So good news if you're a Tiger Woods fan, who I am, I did back the man on the very first day to win this tournament. Francesco Molinari or Tony Finau. What a final three that is, guys. What a final grouping that's going to be. And I'm looking forward to watching that on the coverage. There we go. There's a far better swing. This should just kick hard left. I actually don't think I've, I've, I've put enough... I've not applied enough draw on that there, guys. So really not thinking out in the course today. I don't know if it's the fact that the AI are not pushing me if I'm if I'm not. Well, no, it's not because the amount of course reviews I do with no competition and play well, so that that is not an excuse. The one thing I am struggling is, is I'll be honest, is not knowing the exact lie grid my ball's on. So I know that we're shooting hard left, and I'm hoping the wind takes it round. But there you go, it's hard just to to gauge exactly how much you are sloping. But I have enjoyed doing it. Like I say, after the first two rounds where I shot, I think it was 10 under and 7 under. It was just too easy for me, guys. My swing was more consistent and better. So once again, our short game is being tested here. This is a tough shot downhill. This could go in. This could go in. Ooh, Oh, look at that, guys. That is going bye-bye. 94% of Masters champions of all time we're in the top four, top five, sorry, through 54 holes. Adding Brooks Kopka, Ian Poulter and Webb Sifton to the list of Woods, Finout and Molinari. So, wow. So, the putt back up the hill. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, what a putt that was just to save the par. Unbelievable. And we do remain at one over, 14 under for the event. Molinari is trying to become the first defending Open champion to win the Masters since Tiger in 2001. Boom. There we go, guys. Look how easy is this game. There's the laser beam shot that I'm used to. I've just failed to, to achieve that today and yesterday on so many occasions. The average world ranking of the Masters champion is 15. Tony Finau is the current world number 15. Some of these stats are eerily scary, guys. They really are. I'm not... I, d I don't believe in stats, so... There's a far better strike. This this could be all over this, guys. This should be a masterful shot if it sits down. It might trickle just a bit past the hole. What a golf shot that is there, guys. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button. I judged that slope that we were on to perfection. And at long last, I am proving what we're capable of doing. So we do pick up a birdie there. And we move back to level par, 15 under. No one is near us. Our next competitor is at 13 over. It's, it's crazy how big a lead we have here. On to Golden Belt. Say we've got about a 9, 10 mile per hour wind. It's diagonal to the right. I pushed that right again. It's going to go way right. It's just going to be a bit long. Hit the flag. Oh, such a, a... Every time we've been playing Golden Bell, we've been in between so many clubs due to the wind. Well 
But the greens have been fairly receptive at Augusta. The fairways have been really soft with all the rain. But uh, today's round's been brought forward. I've really underhit that. I've really underhit that. Yeah. Um, today's round has been brought forward, guys, due to the, the thunderstorms that are forecast in the evening. So hopefully the course can get um, cleared. All the compet Oh, Lee. Oh, Lee, that's pure. Hopefully the course can and the, the competition can be completed before the predicted forecasts. But if not... The guys who are out there for the storm, it could make things really, really difficult. The, the conditions, if the course, or even if it's play suspended and then they go back out, the course is going to play totally different. So it's really going to be interesting to see. Tony Finau has just won PGA Tour win so far in his career. The last American to win the Masters having won or zero PGA Tour wins previously was Larry Mize in 1987. He had one win. So there's the stats, guys, but I'm still back in Tiger. I really am. I cannot see past him. He's got that look in his eye. He's got the determination of the old Tiger Woods. He looks focused. We're, we're seeing the, the the club twirls after good shots, and it's just fantastic to see. So anyone who did get on my bandwagon with my tips, good luck. But it is going to be an absolute outstanding final round. That's a beautiful strike. Now I'm just trying to feed this down the slope. This should slope towards the pin here, guys. This should be another great shot. Probably about 15 feet for an eagle opportunity here if it catches the slope. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Get down, get down. It's not bad. I, ex I was wanting to get further up the green there. But starting to get a bit consistency into my swing now. So just looking to make amends for that double bogey in Golden Belt. This would get us back to level par. It's got a chance. This has got a chance. Ah, it's just going to be in the low side. It should check up nicely though. And we should be walking away with a birdie. And getting us back to, to one over for the round. I'm still going to push myself and try and finish under par here guys I'm looking for one under at least I'm starting to get a bit more consistency in my swing here these last few holes like I said at the start of the round just going to be experiment with it it's not an ideal time to be doing it but when things aren't going your way you need to try different options hole 14 that is still going to go hard right but hopefully We've aimed it far enough down the fairway. It's going to kick all the way over to the the right of the fairway. That's the way this hole plays. But I've really enjoyed playing the Masters virtually for you guys. I really hope you have enjoyed playing and, well, watching every shot. And I really appreciate everyone who has done. So 8 iron into this green. I do believe this slope is going to take us hard right. The wind and the green does slope towards the flag as well. It's a far better strike. And I tell you what, is it going to run out for me? Come on, get up, get up, get up. Just coming up a bit short. That wind just holding me up a little bit more. But it is going to give me a birdie opportunity. But I would say the top 12 all have a chance of winning this thing today, guys. I really do. So for back-to-back -back birdies, this one should really turn hard right at the end here. Boom, what a fantastic putt that is, guys. And we are starting to pick things up. And hopefully that can give me a bit of belief here. Seve Ballesteros making moves as well. And we get back to level par. But I think the top 12 of Ricky Fowler, Adam Scott, Dustin Johnson, Kutcher, Schufle, Oosthuizen, Harden, Poulter... Webb Simpson, just let me play this, this tee shot. Boom. Um, Brooks Kopka, Tiger Woods, my main man, and who I really believe is going to pick up his fifth green jacket. Tony Finau and Francesco Molinari, the Italian stallion. These guys are all in with a shout if picking up the prestigious Masters 2019 trophy they really are 
tough hole this one just trying to land this on the fringe once again so really lofting up this five iron chances are we'll go over the back but six iron would probably have me in the drink Come on, get down, get down, get down, get down. No, it's just long again, just long again. It's such a hard green to to hold. You need a, a certain wind to be able to achieve it. I would have needed that wind against me. And this is now a delicate little shot. This green slopes all the way down towards the drink here. Look how, look how hard this green slopes. Breaks to the right. Come on, check up now, check up now, check up now, and guys, what a shot that is from there, wow, I have played that almost to perfection, and we should be walking away with another birdie, this would get us to one under par, and we are under par, I think that's for the, th is that the first time this round, I'm sure it is, really enjoying this, despite not playing well guys, like I say, I really hope you have enjoyed watching my four rounds of the virtual golf at the... 2019 masters here and like i say if i do get over 5,000 views in this video i will be upgrading my recording equipment for your guys viewing pleasure tough pin location here i'm happy with the club oh, i've pushed it hard right it's just going to go so far right but the wind's bringing this back has it got the legs to get up the slope the wind has brought that back it's just lacked the the legs to get right up the top of that slope, but we are going to have a pin high putt for birdie. It will be a tough putt. Very fortunate outcome there, despite that poor swing. It's got a good line. It's got a good line. Boom! And what a probably the last four or five holes we have been absolute fantastic. The 13, 14, 15th. And 16, for the last four holes, we have been fantastic after picking up double bogey on Golden Belt. And I do move to two under par with the penultimate hole. The winds die down here. Still not happy with that swing line. That is going to go over to the right, but this should hold this fairway quite easily. Just. And we are going to have a shot over the bunker hole with this pin. This pin location, got to come over the top of this bunker. Look at this, the, the slopes and this greens. Some of these pin locations are brutal. So just totally deal off in this pitching wedge here, guys. Trying to get it running and working its way down the slope towards the pin. Bit of an uphill slope to the right here as well, I would suggest. It's a good strike. Has it got the legs? Has it got the legs? Get up. Get up. Oh, almost that that'll come all the way off the green almost a very good shot there but like i say without the lie grid guys it's so hard to determine how much of an incline or a decline slope you're on this is a horrible chip shot just try to use the top of the slope to kill the ball that's not making it it's not making it no lee Wow, his balls came all the way back, right to my feet. So let's see if we can learn our lesson from that. So just totally deal off in this night. Should still land in the same location, but it should kick out more. Get in. Get in. Ah, oh, we played that well. If only I'd done that the first time. And that is going to be another bogey. What a, an up and down scorecard we've had today, guys. We've had two or three bogeys, double bogeys. Plenty of birdies. We're still one under going into the final hole of this prestigious event, which I have enjoyed very much, guys. Like I say, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this also. Thanks to everyone who has tagged along with me. That is going hard right, but I put a fast on it. I don't think it's going to get out the rough, though. No. The push right overpowered the fast. And I've now made things really, really difficult. I'm going to have to come up with a worldie shot here. This is a tough hole. Seven iron into the wind. Applying some, some fade on this. I've pushed it right. 
I think we're in the bunker. We're going to be plugged here. This is not an ideal location from this this area here. I cannot believe I've hit the bunker. On hindsight, maybe laying up out of there was a better option, but we are going to have a flop shot. There's no way a chip shot's going to have the elevation, but I'd rather be long here. It looks like I've got an easier putt if I am longer of the flag than I am short. Let's try and leave it as close past the flag as possible, though. Just looking for a cheeky 80%, 90% swing. I've got 100%. Oh, it's not checked up. So we're going to have a slightly downhill putt, probably about 11 feet for par. 10 feet it is. Let's see if we can drop this. Finish one under par for the final round. That needs to turn, needs to turn. It has done, and that is a great putt there, guys. Delighted with that up and down. Didn't play well the final two rounds. I think the first two rounds, I, I was fantastic. But as you can see, we've won that convincingly. Um, great to see Seve, Jordan, Spieth, Campillo, Kyung Hyun, all on the leaderboard there. But that is it from Augusta National 2019. If you are new to the channel, guys, please hit the subscribe button. If you did enjoy that, hit the like button. And I do hope you enjoy the final round of the real thing today. Go Tiger! That is it for today. See you guys in the next one. Take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.